really throw away your pants. Why are you dealing with rashes and polluting the environment? It's time to move on to menstrual cups now. I will tell you all the whys and the whats and the whens. Just watch out. First of all, choosing the right menstrual cup. So menstrual cups are usually available in a small and a large size. The small size is usually better for pre-teens and teenagers who haven't had an onset of sexual activity or who haven't ever delivered vaginally. The large size is usually for people who are sexually active or who have already delivered vaginally. So they would need a larger size. However, this would vary and if you feel the size is not right for you, try out other sizes so you know what works for you. Next, how do you insert a menstrual cup? First of all, wash your hands clean. Then you make sure your cup is also clean, you've washed it clean and you've rinsed it well. Then you need to fold the cup before inserting it. So there are a couple of techniques to folding it. One is the C fold or the U fold where you fold it like this. One is the 7 fold where you fold it like this. And lastly, there is the punch down fold where you fold it like this. Once you have folded it, gently insert it into your vagina, take a deep breath, be relaxed and spread your legs before you do this. Once you've done it, how do you know it's in position and it won't leak? So what you need to do is just hold the stem, rotate it slightly and give it a little tug. And if you feel a resistance, you will know that the cup is perfectly in place. Now, how long before you empty your cup? The average volume of a cup is roughly between 30 to 40 ml and it holds that much blood. What this means is you can go even up to 12 hours with your cup on. So you can even sleep with your cup on and it's absolutely fine. Of course, on days when your flow is heavier, you may have to change it every three to four hours, like on your first or your second day. And later on, you can keep it even up to 12 hours, completely fine. The next question that a lot of people ask is, is this hygienic? Because you're just using the same cup over and over again. The answer is yes, it's hygienic if you keep it hygienic. So you need to rinse it really well with water and a gentle soap every time that you change it. That is really important. Uh, so that means you need to rinse it at least twice a day because a maximum of 12 hours is the period you can over the cup. Other than this, once your period is over, what you need to do is rinse your cup thoroughly and boil it well in water for a good couple of minutes. Let it be on a rolling boil and then you let it cool, let it dry and then you put it in a box or a little bag where you can store it and keep it clean and safe. A cup of good quality with regular sanitization should be able to last you up to even 5 to 10 years. If you have any other questions about menstrual cups, do ask me in the comments below. Also don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel.